Two police officers have narrowly escaped injury after the car was repeatedly rammed by a stolen vehicle in the early hours of Friday morning. The incident has sparked fresh calls for new laws to punish offenders who intentionally ram police vehicles in what the police union has dubbed an alarming trend. Officers were conducting a routine patrol in Melton in Melbourne's west about 2.30 am on Friday morning when it's alleged they noticed a man standing next to a stolen Nissan Tita, registration UTG 411. Police approached the man, who then got into his car and allegedly reversed into the police van several times before driving south on Station Road, a police spokesman said. According to radio station 3AW's Neil Mitchell, officers had to jump out of the way to avoid being hit by the offender, who repeatedly reversed into the divisional van, pushing it out of the way before heading south on Station Road. The vehicle was found burnt out on the next suburb on Friday afternoon, on Clark Road near Rockbank Middle Road in Rockbank, but the driver remains on the run. He is described as Asian, about 25 years old, 173 centimeters tall and with a large build. It's understood the police car has been written off after being significantly damaged in the incident. Victoria Police Association Secretary Sergeant Wayne Gatt said uniform members reached out to the union daily about the dangers of being rammed while on the job. Mr Gatt also said it was not uncommon for police cars to be written off in rammings. He said 117 police vehicles had been lost in the 2016-2017 financial year. We're losing a lot of police cars through incidents exactly like this almost every other day in Victoria, he told Neil Mitchell. It's a frightening situation for our members to find themselves in, where they're simply just doing their job and for whatever reason, whether it be to get away or to disable a police car, these offenders are taking this course of conduct at a rate that they weren't previously. It's an alarming trend, it has to be stopped. Every time it occurs it puts the lives of our members in danger. Mr Gatt said a strong message had to be sent to offenders that if they rammed police cars intentionally, they would be met with a very, very firm message from the courts. It's understood Victoria Police has rolled out training to support members in the event of a ramming, but Mr Gatt said training can only do so much. The state opposition has signaled it will introduce a private member's bill next week calling for mandatory two-year jail terms for offenders who intentionally ram police cars. Speaking on Friday, Shadow Police Minister Edward O'Donoghue said the proposed two-year jail sentences would be enforced regardless of the offender's prior convictions. Our police are under attack like never before and they need better protection from Parliament and the community. He said, This is about sending a message to offenders putting our police officers lives at risk that this sort of behavior won't be tolerated. Mr Gatt said the union would be absolutely in support of mandatory jail terms for offenders and said they had spoken to both sides of politics about the issue. <laughs>